Have you ever tasted a dish so creamy and delicious that it completely changed the way you see the world? That maybe it's possible to find your soulmate in a plate of food? No? Well, this may be that dish. Today's recipe, chicken nada piccata. We're going to start with one pound of boneless, skinless chicken tenders. Or you can take a chicken breast and cut it into sections. Let's place them evenly spaced into a one gallon Ziploc bag, or any plastic bag you may have laying around. And then, taking the flat end of a meat mallet, let's pound the chicken out, but not too hard. Remember, we're tenderizing here, we're not spanking. Now grab a small bowl so we can make the wash. I know there's more than one way to separate the egg white from the yolk, but this is how I normally do it. Add one quarter cup of heavy cream, and then mix. Carefully pour the mixture into the bag. Make sure it's sealed nice and tight. And then, massage that bird until every crevice gets to soak. And then, set aside and we'll move on to the next step. For our dry ingredients, we're going to start off with one half cup flour, a tablespoon of salt, and a tablespoon of freshly cracked pepper. Give that a quick stir and then we're just about ready with our coating. Like I said earlier, there's always more than one way to do things, but for this recipe, I like the old shake and bake method. Just drop those pieces right into that flour. That's right, don't leave anyone behind. Make sure your bag is sealed up nice and tight and then shake that money maker. I found that doing it this way leaves the perfect light coating that we are looking for. In a large heated skillet, toss in two tablespoons of butter. And then, one tablespoon of olive oil. We need this really hot and we don't want the butter to burn. Now, you can lay those tender pieces into that hot butter and hear that sizzle. To me, few things in this world are more satisfying than the sound of chicken frying in a pan. That golden brown is exactly what we're looking for. As soon as we're finished browning the chicken, we're going to set it aside. If you think that smells good now, just wait until you see what we're making next. Let's start with a little more olive oil and butter while the pan's still hot. Once that melts down, we're going to add one cup chicken stock. One quarter cup freshly squeezed lemon juice. For the secret ingredient, one and a half tablespoons of jarred green peppercorns. And you probably know the chicken piccata normally takes capers, but this isn't your average chicken piccata. As usual, we are taking it to the next level. And don't forget to pick out any stray lemon seeds if you find them. Let that simmer and bubble away for about two minutes before adding our heavy cream. Half a cup. Now give that a good stir while we let that cook for about two minutes. We're going to sprinkle in one tablespoon of flour and for the next two minutes, keep stirring and try to break up any clumps if you find them. And finally, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh uh, yeah, it's starting to come together. By now, that sauce should be looking and smelling amazing, which means it's time to give those birds a soak. This recipe definitely gives you that lemony goodness that you'd expect from a good piccata, but then the creaminess fills your taste buds and the subtle green peppercorn lingers on the finish. When you plate up over some good mashed potatoes, that's where the whole soulmate thing comes to mind. Now, I'm not saying that if you had a date over for dinner that you'd send them home so that you could spend some time alone with the piccata, but you'll definitely have reservations when they ask for seconds. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and Thanks for watching.